Growing up, I fondly remember putting together Hot Wheels tracks to make elaborate courses for my toy cars. And while it was fun to race them, I always thought it'd be cool to take a slightly more scientific approach and actually measure how fast they were going. We can build our own chronograph by using an Arduino and a few light sensors. For real cars, there are a few ways to measure their speed without being in the car itself. Often, you'll see police officers using a radar gun that bounces radio signals off a moving vehicle and calculates the speed of the car based on the signal's change in frequency. Sometimes you'll see one or more black cables stretched across the road. These are called pneumatic tube detectors, and they're actually tubes filled with air. As you drive over them, the weight of the car compresses the air, which operates a switch located in a box on the side of the road. If we put two tubes at a known distance from each other, we can calculate the speed of a car based on the time it takes for one axle to go from one tube to the next. We're going to be using a similar principle as the pneumatic tube detectors, but instead of tubes, we'll use beams of light. This is how modern ballistics chronographs work, but instead of a bullet, we'll be using a toy car. We'll have two LEDs shining light on two sensors that are a known distance from each other. When the car breaks the first beam, we read the Arduino's internal clock and store it in variable T1. Then, the car will move down the track and break the second beam. When this happens, we'll read the Arduino's clock again and store that in T2. We can then calculate the speed of the car by dividing the distance between the sensors by the time it took the car to travel from the first to the second sensor. All of these measurements and calculations can be handled by our Arduino. To make this project, we'll use parts from the SparkFun Inventors kit, an extra photo cell, a cardboard box, and some Hot Wheels track. The LEDs shine beams of light perpendicular to the track so that the photo cells sense a decrease in light when a car passes by. The Arduino records the time between the beams being broken and calculates the car's speed. It then displays the speed in meters per second on the LCD. Let's try it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! All right, let's try it again. Oh, oh nice. yeah. That's it. Nice job, everyone. As you can see, it can be fun just to watch the speed of the cars as they fly down the track. But we can also design several experiments around this project. For example, try different toy cars, see which one performs the best, or modify one of the launchers, see if you can maximize initial velocity. Or we can take several measurements at different points along the track and try to calculate the friction of the car on the track. If you'd like to make your own speed trap, I've included a link to step-by-step -step instructions on inventor space in the description below. Give it a shot. I'd love to hear how fast you can get your cars to go. My current record is 5.39 meters per second out of one of these launchers. Beat that. <laughs>